Hi everyone, Merry Christmas Eve. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes as well as advent boxes and limited edition boxes, which is the case this evening. I hope that you are all cozy and enjoying some time with your families this holiday season. I thought I would share with you a Christmas limited edition box that was put together this year by the Literary Book Club, which also did a fantastic advent box. And if you missed my advent series, there's still time to watch that entire playlist and enter to win some goodies from some of those advent calendars that I opened over there by filling out the little multiple choice quiz that I have for you. That's linked in the description box below for all of those videos. But let's take a look at this amazing Christmas box that was put together. Like I said, first of all, the box itself is so pretty. Now they have a quarterly subscription and the box is always fashioned to look like a classic book because that is what she specializes in. But this time it was a red box and it came in a mailer. So it came in pristine condition. So I feel like this is perfect for for saving to store my Christmas decorations, especially the bookish ornaments that I happen to have. Now the quarterly subscription is just $74.99 plus shipping. I think it's usually between $11.95 and $13.95 in shipping, depending on the contents. And they're usually pretty weighty, I will say that, because we get these gorgeous editions. If you are interested in the quarterly subscription, I am an ambassador and I do have a link and a code for you. The code is just Maui Noel and that'll save you $5. Again, that's just on the subscription, but check it out if you are interested in adding to your collection. Now she has done a bunch of limited edition boxes and she has been kind enough to send these for review as well, like this one. But let me go ahead and just read from the website about this box, which you guys, these limited edition boxes, they sell out super duper quick, but they're such a delight, so fun to read. So this one was, $105 and it was with this very very sweet little short story collection so it's called A Merry Christmas and Other Christmas Stories by Louisa May Alcott. Treat yourself this holiday season and experience the classics with our limited edition deluxe Christmas box. You will receive our signature style of wrapped gifts to open as you read, a beautiful collectible edition of a classic book and the luxury gifts you can expect from the literary book club. Winter is the perfect season to curl up with a great classic book and I've made these book box is absolutely deluxe. This box is almost like an advent as it has seven short stories to read and seven gifts to open. Now it was a little bit like the Halloween box in that the gifts did not necessarily go along with the stories. Now with the quarterly subscription, the gifts are often inspired by the passages in the book, which I do think is really fun. But once you kind of like let go of that with these short story collections, it is really enjoyable. And with the Halloween box, I did kind of use it like an advent and I read one story per night leading up to Halloween because I wanted to have that spooky vibe. With this one, because they were so short and there were just seven of them, I really pretty much plowed through it in one night because there was such delightful and sweet little stories. So it's just such a pretty addition with the, the birds and the berries and the little bit of glitter there on the jacket, but I thought it was lovely. Let me just read to you the titles of the, of the stories, and then if I remember, I'll tell you a little bit about them as we go through, but there's a lot to share with you from this box. So there was A Merry Christmas, which was actually an excerpt from Little Women, Kate's Choice, The Quiet Little Woman, Tilly's Christmas, What Love Can Do, Rose's Tale, I thought that one was really funny because it was mostly in the voice of a horse, and Mrs. Podger's Teapot. So, you guys, like I said, there is so much to share. Now, first of all, we always get this lovely uh, wax sealed envelope with a message from Katie, so let me go ahead and find that first. There is usually a product card at the very bottom of the box, face down, so you don't ruin the surprises. Um, so, I, I didn't take too much of a look because I'm kind of in the advent spirit still, so I haven't actually opened all of these gifts yet, you guys. Once I knew that they didn't necessarily go along with the stories. I was like, maybe I'll just open them on camera with you guys. So here is her lovely artwork. She does these beautiful uh, script pieces. It says, A Merry Christmas collects the treasured holiday tales of Louisa May Alcott from the dearly familiar yuletide benevolence of Marmy and her little women to the timeless What Love Can Do, wherein the residents of a boarding house come together to make a lovely Christmas for two poor girls. Wildly popular at the time of their publication, readers deluged Alcott with letters demanding sequels and drawing on Alcott's family and experiences in the abolitionist and women's suffrage movements. These stories had the authentic texture and detail of Christmas in 19th century America, while their emphasis on generosity 
and charity make them timeless embodiments of the Christmas spirit. I can't wait to hear what you think of the book, the gifts, and the whole experience. Now, honestly, you guys, when I was reading through this, I had just found out that there was one person in our holiday gift exchange that we did for the third year in a row. There was one person that decided not to follow through, and it was really disheartening. It really like made me feel sad about it that someone would kind of ruin that Christmas spirit of giving, but all these super sweet stories reminded me that it is not about things, it's about that intention, and I found myself just hoping that that person that did receive a gift but decided not to send one or respond to any of my emails, I hope that they really needed that gift and it did brighten their holiday. So that's, you know, that's kind of the moral of the story with all seven of these stories. All right, so in addition to the lovely classic book, it is a hardcover in case you didn't see, we also got our swag bag, which we always get a swag bag from Literary Book Club. So it says, a happy Christmas. A uh, nice little like star wreath sticker on there, which I would have loved to get that, but we kind of got a version of it. So she always gives us some fun little extras. So we got the star wreath as a magnet, which I think is kind of fun. So you could put up a Christmas card on your fridge that way. We got a lovely Merry Christmas bookmark with some poinsettias. And then we also got a little Ex Libris little book plate so that you can uh, say that this book is yours, unless you want to re-gift it to someone, which you definitely could. So that was our swag bag. Then we also always get an 8x10 art print with her artwork. So that's usually at the bottom. This one is a quote from, of course, Louisa May Alcott. It says, the power of finding beauty in the humblest things makes home happy and life lovely. So I'm not, not going to take it out of the plastic sleeve because like I said, there's a ton to look at in this box. But how pretty if you're someone who does seasonal uh, prints in your home, you have like one beautiful frame that you just change out. This is a great subscription description for that because we always get one of these but then also a good reason to jump on these limited edition boxes as well so such a lovely sentiment and a lovely lovely uh little piece there so we got that all right you guys then one thing that really makes me happy is when we get a little extra bag. So you have to kind of go through because they're not necessarily packed in order. It's all like a Tetrisine act. Um, when I find the sticker that says while you read, because usually it means that we get a nice treat. Aren't these little tree bags that she did in different sizes really, really cute? So we got a little while you read gift. And like I said, it's usually a treat, something to drink or something to nibble on. We got, this is so cute, a hot cocoa on a stick, hot chocolate on a stick. So got to do it with a uh, milk or a milk substitute. So it's nice and creamy and delicious. So that was before we even got into our seven gifts that go with the seven stories, you guys. Pretty cool, right? All right. So then for story number one, like I told you, was an excerpt from Little Women. It's where they go over to the home of a very poor family and share their Christmas dinner, basically. And then they're they're blessed twice over when they come back home to, to their space. So open after story one. We got this little little bag and very exciting because that was something to drink, a delicious something to drink. We also got something to nibble on, fatty sundaes, chocolate covered pretzels, covered with cinnamon sugar. I was really excited. This is one of the gifts that I did open before I decided to save some of them um, because I've gotten this before in an Etoile box. You guys, I don't know what happened with Etoile box. I'm so sad that they're gone because it was such a great subscription, but these are delicious. There's just like three pretzels in there with a little bit of cinnamon sugar on them, but they are so good. Chocolate covered pretzels are like one of my favorite uh, treats for sure. All right, and then story number two was Kate's Choice, which is very, very sweet. It's about this this girl that has to choose amongst her uncles and uh, one aunt to who she's gonna live with. And I just, it's so, so cute, or grandma, actually. She decides to live with grandma, of course. A spoiler alert, you guys. So this was story number two, actually came in a big red envelope. Oh, this is not what I was expecting. So we actually got another book. Sometimes you get books within book boxes. It says, uh, the heartwarming story that became the Christmas classic, It's a Wonderful Life. It's called The Greatest Gift, a Christmas tale by Philip Van Doren Stern. So it's a nice little hardcover, you can see, with a very shiny, shiny jacket. So it says, on the night before Christmas, a mysterious stranger saves George Bailey from a moment of despair by giving him a precious opportunity to understand the difference that his unassuming life makes to those around him and to the world. This 20th century parable, an evergreen reminder of eternal human value, is presented in its original format, the perfect gift for any loved one. You guys, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Like, this is my favorite classic Christmas movie, but I also love Love Actually and The Holiday, also very cute. 
All right, so it says, just before Christmas in 1943, Philip Van Doren Stern sent to his friends and family copies of a story he had written entitled The Greatest Gift. One of those pamphlets made its way to a producer at RKO Films who brought the story to the attention of Frank Capra and Jimmy Stewart, both recently returned from serving in World War II. They quickly became captivated by the idea of a film based on the story. With a director and star attached, The Greatest Gift went on to become the December 1946 release, It's a Wonderful Life, now loved by millions around the world. This edition of The Greatest Gift returns to the original text bound in its original size with newly commissioned illustrations by Andrew Davidson inspired by the original drawings for the 1944 edition. In the afterward, the author's daughter Marguerite Stern Robinson gives a personal account of the origins of the story and its breakthrough through the movie and into the public imagination. Oh my gosh! And then it's got these beautiful illustrations as well that look like woodblock prints almost. That's so cool that they printed it in this like original little like pamphlet size. Awesome. All right. So story number three was, oh, the quiet little woman. She's, she's very sweet. It's, it's very sweet. She works so hard and finally is, is recognized for it. So we got this little red bag. Okay, so The Quiet Little Woman. Let me just remember if this is the right one I'm thinking of. Yes, that's a really, really sweet one. So I, I loved that one because she just, she worked so hard and she was in like basically an orphanage and she just wanted a family to love her and she did finally, she did finally get a family to love her, which was adorable. Patty, precious little Patty. She needed, she needed some love and the auntie finally loved her. So we got, oh, it's a candle. So it's Christmas Morning by Beverly and Third Candle Company. It's a four ounce soy candle. So hand poured in Illinois. Let's see what Christmas morning smells like, you guys. Ooh, it smells good. It's like a kind of, this is going to sound strange probably, but it almost smells like soap, like a good soap, like nice and fresh and clean, but not over like I was afraid it was going to be super cinnamony and sweet because, you know, Christmas morning, you think cinnamon and spices and all sugar and spice and everything nice. It's actually a really nice candle. It's kind of got a little bit of that like evergreen vibe going on in it. All right. I like that a lot. So it still smells like your Christmas tree. Hopefully your Christmas trees are all still alive. Mine is still hanging in there. It's actually still drinking water as of filming. It's still sucking up some water. So maybe it worked out for me that I didn't get my Christmas tree up until like December 9th or 10th this year because I'm trying to get it to last all the way through Epiphany. All right. Story number four was... Tilly's Christmas. Now, who was Tilly? I have to try to remember you guys. Let's see. 67. If I just kind of look at a page, because I did, like I said, read this a little while ago. Oh, okay. So Tilly is the ones that where they, the boarding house where they, they created. No, What Love Can Do is that one. Which one is Tilly's Christmas? Tilly's Christmas is page 67. Hmm. Oh, no. I'm glad tomorrow's. Oh, yeah. I think that's what it is. Yes, that's the one. Oh, that's the cute one. That's right. Tilly is a very sweet girl and her friends all have money and she doesn't, but she rescues a bird and then she's rewarded. Okay. So we have a nice poinsettia sticker. She made all these pretty stickers. I want these pretty stickers. All right. Open after story four. I don't know what we got in here. This is where I, I, I stopped opening after the Fatty Sunday's pretzels, honestly, you guys. Let's see. There's, there's like a card in here. And what is this? Oh, and Oh, this is a cool item. She gets really cool items. I miss the Wildflower Club. Like that was her other subscription that had like kind of outdoorsy, naturey things. I really, I would love if that subscription came back or just even less limited edition boxes. It's the Good Rub Lip Balm Craft Kit. That is super duper cool, you guys. You can make your own lip balms. Ooh, wintergreen is the scent. It says our do-it-yourself lip balm craft kit is great for a solo DIY, a birthday party activity, or some fun with your family on a rainy day. This fun and engaging experience provides all pre-measured ingredients and guided video instructions to create two of your own lip balms, one for you and one for a friend. That is super duper cool. I love Christmas gifts that are like activities, especially for the kids. Like when I was a kid growing up as an only child, like I loved the things that were kits and art supplies and things that I could like do that morning. So this is very, very cool. Love that. All right, story number five. That's the what love can do. And that is the one where it's the members of the boarding house all seeing things collected. Well, first of all, someone overhears because they have thin walls and then they're all trying to put together things to make everyone have a nice, happy Christmas. So, all right. So what love can do story five. We got one of those cute little Christmas tree bags. We're almost there, you guys. 
you know what let's have a secret password for today because i so appreciate you spending some time with me let's oh it's old-fashioned holiday candy so hard candy and six assorted flavors but it's that kind where it looks like it's pulled and then they actually cut the like hard candy like it's like candy cane texture like a hard candy and they just cut the, so you get all the things like spirals and stuff so it says it's 1924 in a small north carolina town three candy makers stir big copper pots to cup up mouth-watering morsels prized across a dozen countries today almost a hundred years later butterfield still cooks candy with the same copper kettles the same family recipes and the same treasured results copper kettles um sound of music that's that's, that's your cue you guys so let's have let's have Candy, very simple. Candy is your secret password for today. I know lots of you are probably eating some of it. So candy is a secret password. When you come across a secret password in one of my videos, you wanna enter it with your contact information in the Google form linked for you in the description box below. You have to be 18 years or older. You have to have a Canadian and US mailing address. It is not associated with YouTube or any of the boxes I open here. At the end of the month, actually at the beginning of the following month, I use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive a mystery box as my way of saying thank you for watching my videos in their entirety. And I usually send out like five to 15 mystery boxes full of all kinds of goodies. So a little belated holiday gift for you. But today's secret password is candy. And I think that that is just our ninth secret password for the month. And then don't forget if you are a no-bot and you're in the no-bot nook, which is our private Facebook group, there's always a bonus secret password that I usually announce at the beginning of the month. So for those guys, there's actually been 10. And for all of you who are just viewers here on YouTube, there have been nine. So I like to give you those hints so that you can see if you missed any. All right, so then story number six, this was the one that was Rosa's Tale where it's like told in the voice of a horse, which I did not know that there's like, you know, a legend that in the hour past midnight on Christmas that animals can talk. So Rosa the horse gets to tell her tale. I thought that was hilarious. Um, her mane and tail. Ooh, these are pretty. This is from June and December. Red boughs and berries, flower, sack, napkin. And you guys, she gave us two. How much do I appreciate that? A set of two versus like, you know, you guys know how I'm about sets, but that's so lovely. I love this kind of material. It's very absorbent. You can totally use it as a tea towel, but I also love this botanical design and color because, well, one, it's holiday, but it's also going to last into the new year and it's not so Christmassy that you have to tuck it away for the rest of the year but also it kind of goes with my kitchen which is mostly red and black so I am very happy about these these are great red boughs and berries cloth napkins Ooh, that would have been a good secret password we're gonna stick with candy though don't worry so all right and then our final story number seven was Mrs. Podger's teapot which is a very cute little like love story I just thought that was adorable as well and again all about charity and goodwill and sharing with others as were all the stories they were all very heartwarming feel-good stories all right so we got a big a gold bag for our last one Oh, these are nice, but a little bit late in the season. Now, normally I wouldn't be necessarily like waiting and using this as an advent box, although she did like kind of hint that you could use it as an advent box. But we got these gorgeous, it's from Paper Baristas. Um, it says Fair Trade Stationery Company. It's some really, really pretty um, cards, like gorgeous cards. So let me see if I can open this up. Letterpress printed handmade paper. Yeah, these are really nice. So um, I have done most of my holiday card sending already. <laughs> you're like already? It's like two days before Christmas. Um, when you're seeing this, it's a day before Christmas. These are gorgeous though. First of all, I love the maroon envelopes. It looks like we got a set of five. And then let me see if they're all the same. They are all the same, but look, they almost look like a broadside, like printed. So it's like nice, thick, rough edge paper. Um, beautiful, beautiful. So it's like in, almost engraved in the paper, like this like winter skating scene. Yeah, there's skating and there's a couple little like houses. Those are gorgeous. It would be hard to write on these because it is very absorbent paper. So you'd probably want to use more of a ballpoint than like the inky, you know, gel pens that I like to use. So you'd have to be very careful about that. But I just think that is so beautiful. Like you could even frame matte and frame that. That would be a lovely holiday uh, artwork to have out. That's a really nice letterpress set. Those might be like the nicest holiday cards that I've gotten in any box this season, this year. So love that. That was great. And it wasn't even from a stationary box. 
very nice. And then we did get one little bonus gift. You could, I know there was so much in this box, right? We got this just one more chapter wood bookmark. So it does have this like candy cane twine. Now I don't usually use bookmarks like this because they're just too thick. Like I usually just like to use a slip of paper or like the bookmark that she provided for us, but it is pretty darn cute and will look cute kind of leaning up against the spine of one of your books on your bookshelf or even using it as an ornament. Maybe it's supposed to be an ornament. I think it's supposed to be a bookmark, but I might use it as an ornament because then it's going to get more love. And like I said, I can store all of my bookish ornaments and Christmas decorations, which I do actually have quite a few of them in my literary book club limited edition red box. I think that's awesome. So we got our seven gifts. We got our print. We got the extra bookmark slash ornament. We got our swag bag. We got our something to enjoy while we were reading. You guys, this box was so full of so many beautiful things. Definitely consider the limited edition boxes. Definitely consider the quarterly subscription. It is so much fun reading the classics and getting all these beautiful treats along the way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget there was a secret password if you missed it. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing and maybe in my 12 Days of Christmas series that starts tomorrow.